Well, the leader of Hastings Borough Council has written to Network Rail to say it's unacceptable that no date has been set for the reopening of the London to Hastings line. Now, a full train service hasn't run on the line since before Christmas after several landslips. It was due to reopen on March the 3rd, but repairs were delayed by more bad weather. Well, Councillor Jeremy Birch has urged Network Rail to give the line the importance it deserves, and he says that day trippers will be put off coming to the town as they have to ensure a rail replacement bus journey. Well, let's get reaction to this from Network Rail. Fiona Taylor is a route managing director for the firm, joins me on the line. Thank you for coming on the programme, Fiona. Uh, So first of all, is there still no date for the reopening of this line? Okay, well, if I perhaps just put put a bit of context around um, what we've been dealing with at the moment, I think firstly I would like to apologise to passengers for the ongoing disruption, um, which has obviously affected this line since um, just before Christmas really appreciate their patience and understand their frustration and we are working really, really hard um, to be able to reopen the line in full. You you did, though, previously say it would reopen on the 3rd of March. So how can this this have gone so wrong? Okay, well, we we are dealing with, you know, with unprecedented um, situation here. It's exceptional and we have a particular um, continuing problem at one of the sites, which is at Watlington. So just to, to kind of provide a bit of context for this, across Kent and East Sussex, since December, we've dealt with and have experienced 70 landslips. Um, we would normally expect in an average year to deal with two or three in a year. Ten of those have affected the Tunbridge to Hastings line um, and, you know, we've had to, to really work really hard to fix a number of sites. So um, you quite rightly um, point out we did believe that we were going to be in a position to open the line in full um, from the 3rd of March. Um, what, we... what has caused, you know, such an extensive problem, so many landslips uh, in, in, in such a short period of time then? OK, well, it is, it is simply the unprecedented um, weather that's affected the whole country. Um, obviously, we've been, had the wettest winter in 250 years. Um, the Tunbridge to Hastings line has a particular geology. It's largely built on clay, and the line was built in the early 1850s. So we're dealing with a fairly complex set of circumstances and dealing with exceptional weather conditions that we've simply never had to face before. Although, of course, you were aware of the geology of the, the landscape surrounding that line. Was there anything that could have been done to prevent this situation getting so bad? Um, just to be really clear, you know, this isn't about not having maintained the area properly or not having done the work that we need to do. The situation that, that we have at Watlington is that we... we use tried and tested solutions at the other locations on the line, so Stonegate, Marley Lane and Battle, all of which have been rectified and reopened. And we'd hoped that you know, the same approach, which is tried and tested, would have worked at Watlington. Um, unfortunately, um, the weekend before we were due to reopen the line in full, we had further movement of the, of the landslip at that site, and it simply wasn't safe for us to reopen the line. And clearly, you know, passenger safety is our utmost concern. Is there anything else, more resources that could have been directed towards this? Anything else that could have been done to stop this escalating to the level as it has? When we've got to the point where the leader of Hastings Borough Council is saying tourists will be put off coming to the area. Okay, well we've had um, people working on this site uh, 24-7 since the problems first arose. Because we're still trying to understand and get to the bottom of the of the root cause at Watlington so that we can make the right um, mitigation and put in place the right solution, we've had to bring in independent engineering expertise. Um, we need to get to the bottom of the issue. We need some additional help to help us understand why what we've done isn't working and, more importantly, what do we need to do to fix the problem and reopen the line. So people were looking forward to that line reopening nine days ago. And as you say, a lot of, a lot of resources have gone into this. Can, do you have any idea of, of a date that you can, you can promise people that it will reopen? At the moment, we obviously are working still with the independent engineers. We need to absolutely understand what is the right fix and the right solution. Um, and you know, as soon as we are clear on what we need to do and how long that will take, then we will communicate to, to all interested Do you have any idea at all? It all sounds quite vague. So you, you, it could be a month, it could be two months, it could be... Is there, is there any sort of time scale that you have in mind? 
I would anticipate that early next week we will be able to give a clear view on when the line will, will reopen. But until, you know, we have a so, plan... So you won't actually be opening... You, you'll just be able to give us some kind of idea within the space. There is, you can understand that that's very frustrating for, for people that want to, want to use that service. As I said at the beginning, you know, I genuinely understand the frustration and the disruption this is causing to people. We're working really hard um, with our colleagues southeastern to minimise the impact on passengers. And as soon as we have a plan to rectify the site at Watlington and I can be sure that I can reopen the line safely, then I will do that. So hopefully by this time next week you should have... Uh, we, sh we could potentially have a date then for when it will reopen. I would hope so, provided, of course, that we can get a really good plan that enables me to open the line safely. That's my priority. I want to open it as quickly as I possibly can, but I need to have safety at the forefront of every decision. Uh, of course, everyone can understand that safety, but it's not sounding terribly hopeful here. There's lots of ifs and buts and possibles. There's, there's, there's no real kind of sense that, that this line is going to reopen any time soon? The line will reopen and it will reopen as soon as, as, we can, as we can do. As I said, I've called in independent engineers to help us assess the situation, understand what caused the further movement and why the, the methods that we've used at other sites haven't worked at Watlington. And as soon as I have a view from, from the assessments that are taking place, then I will be able to communicate a, you know, a date for the line to reopen. Fiona, thank you. Fiona Taylor there. Um, if you'd like to add your thoughts, 8133, start your message with the word radio. Other stories today, the operator of a landfill site is a...